What we're going to be talking about today is rearranging the capacitor discharge exponential equations. Now this is an important skill to practice, particularly for the exam when we need to do this efficiently and quickly. Okay, so here is one of the forms of the capacitor discharge equation. Now let's just say that we want to rearrange for the time t. This will be a perfect opportunity for you guys to pause this video and attempt this question by rearranging for t. Okay guys, so let's have a look at the solution. First thing that I want to do is to just rearrange for the uh, exponential without any constants multiplying it. So what I'm going to bring uh, do is divide both sides by q0 essentially by bringing it to the other side. So what I'm going to get is that q over q0 is going to equal e to the minus t divided by cr. Now the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the natural log ln of both sides of the equation. So what I'm going to get is ln of q over q0. I'm just going to leave some brackets over here just to be really specific that the natural log applies on both q and q0. And this is going to equal to ln of e to the minus t over CR. Now remember the natural log and the exponential function these are inverse functions so in a way they actually cancel each other out. So what we're going to get is first of all I'm just going to copy down the left hand side so ln of q divided by q0 and um, the ln will essentially cancel out the exponential so what I will be left with is just minus t divided by cr. To the properties of logs, ln of q over q0, well this is actually equal to ln of q minus the ln of q0 and this is going to equal minus t over cr. I'm just trying to really get rid of this minus sign so I'm going to multiply it both sides of the equation by minus 1. So what I'm going to get is that the two logs are really going to uh, swap sides. So um, I'm going to get the natural log of q0 minus the natural log of q and that is going to equal to t over cr. And I can also just write that down as ln of q0 divided by the ln divided by uh, q and that is equal to t over cr and my final step will just be simply to rearrange for the time so the time will be equal to cr multiplied by the natural log of q naught divided by Q. Okay folks, so this is quite an in-depth derivation. Of course you can skip some steps in the exam, particularly the ones uh, in which I was getting rid of the minus sign. So if you've done a lot of practice in maths, you may naturally uh, just flip the signs as soon as you flip the uh, natural log fraction and that is absolutely fine. But I just wanted to go through this as clearly as possible. Okay folks, so hopefully this derivation makes sense. Make sure that you can do this one efficiently in an exam situation. If there are any questions, please feel free to drop a comment down below.